You shoulda never gave up on me Remember I ain't had no views, they ain't players Mixed emotions Got to react when I wrote this so it's a comment somebody replied to another one of my subscribers is Ra 803 g i'm reading a little bit what he said he said yeah trucking is really good for that high pay for a little upfront cost and time and money to get started plus you can cut expenses to almost zero in the truck i lived in my truck with no apartment or car for four years accumulated a ton of assets now the part I want to touch down on is when he said you can save a lot of money. He been in the truck for four years and you can accumulate a lot of assets. So I want to get into the pros and cons of living in your truck. Because I stay in my truck too. And it'll be a year in January. And after I run through the pros and cons, I'm going to do a little truck tour. Because somebody asked me to do a truck tour. And living in your truck takes sacrifices. I know 9 out of 10, if you looking to live in your truck, you looking to sacrifice. This shit takes power. This shit is not for the weak. I don't suggest it. If it ain't your only, if you got other options, I wouldn't suggest it. But if you on a mission and you know you doing it to sacrifice, then do your thing and stay focused. Because it, it gets hard, but you will get over it as you go. So we're going to start with the cons and end with the pros. Especially because it's really more cons than pros, but I ain't go too crazy. I just picked out a couple of, of cons. So, con number one is the obvious. It's unhealthy. It's unhealthy living in your truck, physically, mentally, and spiritually, if you ask me. When it comes to food, a lot of people cook in a truck. Well, I don't want to say a lot. Some people cook in a truck. Me, personally, I don't cook in my truck. I had an oven. I get The shit scared the hell out of me. I thought I was going to burn down the truck. I threw it away. It's just not for me. Plus, I'm not even a good cook. So eating is definitely bad for me. The things that I eat on a daily basis, I'm more so eating restaurant or microwave. And I know it's a choice, gang. It's a choice. You can get up. You can go to the gym. Like right now, I don't need to be talking to y'all. I can go to the gym. I can run around the lot. And food, I can get over it and face my fears. I try and eat bananas. You know what I'm saying? I try and eat some type of fruit, but staying consistent with that is hard. Two, you is in a box literally this is a box which i think will affect your mental they say you need to get out you don't need to be stuck in the truck and me personally i'm not gonna lie i'm stuck like glue in this truck i don't really be liking to really go nowhere i just be chilling so i'm definitely like stuck you in the box this is all you see what you see in this video is all you see when you live in your truck three it can be uncomfortable because that brings us back to in the box you don't have a lot of space if you continue to battle stuff it don't do up but clutter up your space so you get uncomfortable the bed no it's not no five star hotel bed it's a twin bed that bitch is hard to sleep on but you gotta thug it out you know and four it can get lonely you can get real lonely especially if you out somewhere and you don't have no family you ain't around your friends sometimes talking on the phone just ain't enough so that brings us back to having to get out but when if you working five to six days a week when do you really get out by the time you done with a 14 hour shift for most of y'all you want to lay down you don't want to do nothing you just want to lay down that's where i think being unhealthy and messy with your mental come because that's really all you do you wake up you drive you go to sleep wake up drive go to sleep so you cutting out family friends girlfriend boyfriend you really cutting out of life you just really just working and they would get lonely all right so now we're gonna get into the pros the first pro which is the most obvious is save money you can save so much money you don't have no bills you don't pay no rent you don't pay no utilities you barely gotta put gas in your car i really drive my car probably like once Let's say three times, I drive my car three times out the week, but I'm really going up the street, so I don't go nowhere. I barely have to put gas in. I can literally put gas in my car every two weeks, and that's just $40 every two weeks. And since you saving money, which I hope y'all are doing, if you are doing it or looking to do it, once you saving money, gang, you can take that money and invest it in anything, anything you want to do, because you're going to stack the bread so fast because you get paid by the week. You can invest in the real estate, stocks, bonds. You can get a car, put it on Turo. Save that money and start you a small business. There's a lot of things you can do, man, from when you saving money by just standing in your truck. And three, I just wanted to throw it out there because they're really the, the first two is really the only pros, if you ask me. But three, you already at work. You already at work and you already at home at the same time. So you can literally sleep to damn near the last minute. Minute. Get up, go get your load, and when you're done, 
you unhook, you park, and you and you at your bed already. You ain't gotta drive 30 minutes to an hour like most people gotta get to work. You is at home and you is at work already. And that is what makes you lazy. <laughs> That's gonna make you a lazy person, I ain't gonna lie to you. So I just threw in like a con, a pro con. But yeah, you already at work, so that make it cool. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into this truck tour. All right, gang, we finna go ahead and get into this truck tour. We gonna start from the front to the back. It ain't a long walk to the back. And this is a Kenworth for those who wanna know. If you come to Martin, this is what your truck gonna look like. Most of them is Kenworth, from what I know, especially if you're on a Walmart account. If you look, all these trucks are Kenworths. So let's go ahead and get it to it. Open up the door for you. This is what the front look like. I gotta keep my waters. I got two cases of water, I love water. Keep it uh, trash bag. You got the weak GPS, man. Gotta keep some Febreze in y'all uh, trucks, man. I don't wanna see y'all trucks and y'all ain't got no smell goods in it, man. That's a, a must. That's the front, now we at the back, gang. That's the bed. See my m and back to my unhealthiness. That's my refrigerator, y'all. Everybody got big refrigerators, but I got a small refrigerator. I just need water. Like I said, I'm a real water drinker. My computer. That's my everything, for real. That's where your TV's supposed to go. They do come with TV mounts, so you can mount your TV. That's my library, my books. That's my grandma Bible. She go everywhere with me, man. You got the top bunk. It's nothing but junk up there. For a long time, I did not have my bunk um, down. I had it up. And I had like totes on the front seat like a goofy. And it was just driving me crazy. So I literally just put this up like a week ago, maybe two weeks at that. So they ain't nothing but junk. You got this right here. Little closet. Nothing but junk. Pop tarts. Spaghetti and meatballs. Noodles. <laughs> Cereal. More water. You got your little mirror. You got your little light over here. And that's another thing about why I um, kept this up for so long because the light, the lights that's up there, it helped it shine, but when I put this down, it's just dim now. Got a collection of colognes right here, gang. From Chanel to Jimmy Choo to Gucci to YSL. This is my favorite cologne in the world right here. This right here is where you control your air, your in introvert, in yeah, your inverter, or whatever it's called. You turn it on and it cut on. Little radio right here. Honestly, don't know what these is for. And this is what the inverter look like. Down here. Got my charge plugged up. When I had put my oven, see it just cut on. Then you're gonna hear the truck start. Let me see if y'all can hear it. And for a long time, I did not know how to work this gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. You got the different levels too. That's the fan. The fan don't really be blowing out cold air. That's the air. Little snowflake to get the air conditioner. And this is heat right here. But once you put it on air, the truck will start up. Or the truck won't start up, the inverter thing will go off. Which is annoying. I ain't gonna lie to you, to me it's annoying. I don't know if y'all heard the truck start, but when it be on air, the truck will start up. I really be turning it on and off a lot. Like I said, that, that sound get annoying. Then you got your jail window. Can't see nothing up out of it. That's your little window. More vents. Got another one over here. Keep the Febreze. Another jail window. And 
And up top, you got a window too. That's my little microphone that I be making music on. Up top, you got a window. And over here, you got a window, it's blocked off. You got more little cabinets. Little slot, little slot. Guess you put your little radio right there, but I ain't really old school, I don't mess with the radios. Little spot up here, keep you some spray. Oh shit, and it's not really deep or nothing put nothing in right there. Little glove compartment. Oh no, this came with the truck. Little space right here. I'm assuming you could put a refrigerator right here, but like I said, I never bought a refrigerator, so this is why I put like my clothes, my dirty clothes. You got another little drawer, put a lot of little miscellaneous stuff in there. Some more sprays. If y'all don't know about that Bath and Body Works, go get you some body spray from Bath and Body Works. They hit for the low. More dresses right here. I got my clothes in here, some clothes in here. And you see I got the toast up top because it's not a lot, it's not deep. So you can't really put too much clothes in here. You gotta keep you a broom to sweep, for real, cause it'll get dusty from your feet. Steady, you know, walking in and out, walking back to front. Some people put um, some people put rugs, but I never cared for that. And of course, it come with a Kenworth radio. I probably should have started. <laughs> I probably should have started when I was in the front, but this all freestyle game. You got the Kenworth radio. The radio suck. I ain't gonna lie to you. Get you an aux to listen to your music because the Bluetooth, it act like it can pair, but it just won't pair. You got the, uh, the front facing cameras with the uh, with the little pass. I don't know what this is, gang. For a long time, I thought this was some type of camera. I ain't gonna lie, but it's like it beep when you finna switch lanes. Also, in these trucks, you only got that one mirror. You don't got two, which I really don't like. I wish I had two, but it is what it is. You learn, you learn to work with it. And this right here, also, I thought this was a camera. I don't know. I didn't put the tape right there. Somebody else put the tape, whoever had it before me. So I just left it, just in case it was a camera. <laughs> but all right, gang, that's it for the truck. Tour. Not really much to show for real. Just get y'all a preview of what the Kenworth look like. What yours can possibly look like when you get yours and get settled in your truck. But until next time, gang, I'll holler at you.